Well, welcome back. Uh, I promise I've been pretty busy the past couple of months tinkering on this, among other things here in the shop. Pretty much the first thing I did once I had this bike apart was send the frame out to get powder coated. Nothing fancy about this. I just took it to the same place that I've had other motorcycle frames powder coated in the past. I'm sure everybody's got one locally. Just Google it. Next thing that I wanted to send out was some of these aluminum parts to get vapor blasted. So I had to finish taking everything apart and strip it down. On the side of this swing arm, there's a couple little gouges on here. I have no idea what they're from, but I had the bike shop that did the vapor blasting fix these little aluminum parts and grind it back down flush. Looks pretty good now. There's a clear coat made by Cerakote that's specifically for aluminum. So I degreased the swing arm and then set it up in the spray booth and clear coated a bunch of the aluminum parts. While I was at it, I hit a couple other parts with some black Cerakote. I've never done Cerakote before, but it was pretty easy, just had to follow the directions. I tried to tap these bearings out of this linkage a couple of times from the inside, but it wasn't working, so I decided that I had to buy the right tool to pull out the bearings. Once I got this bearing puller, it was super easy. I machined a little donut so that it wouldn't mar up the surface with the bearing puller, and they came out super fast. Sometimes it pays to have the right tool. Then to get the bearing puller off of the bearing, I just pressed it out with this little socket. A friend of mine recommended to throw the new bearings into the freezer and to heat up the linkage in the oven for a little while. They said this would just drop in. but I had to give him a little tappy-tap with the hammer. For the rear brake, there's a little clevis that actuates the master cylinder, and I thought it would be cool to make this out of titanium. I've never machined anything out of titanium before, so why buy a $20 part when you could spend 50 bucks on titanium and then another 100 bucks on broken drill bits and get the same thing? I got two different sizes of raw stock and turned them down on the lathe. I drilled some holes, I tapped some holes, I cut some threads, and then I machined out the flat parts for the clevis. I also did you all a favor and had my arm in the shot half the time when I was filming this. Machining titanium actually wasn't even that hard. As long as you have carbide bits and you get your speeds and feeds pretty close, and use a little bit of lube, it's great. Besides the cool factor of titanium, it saves about 40% of the weight over a steel part. The cost to weight savings of titanium, it's ridiculous. I don't really recommend it unless you just want to throw money at it. Then I wasted a whole bunch of time trying to rebuild the rear brake caliper. As I started taking it apart, I realized that I needed a special tool to get the little pistons out of the brake caliper. Then, as I was scrubbing the muck off, I remembered that I have a sonic cleaner, so I filled it up with some degreaser and let it soak. While it was soaking, I started looking on the internet for a rebuild kit for this caliper. That's when I realized they don't make a rebuild kit for this caliper, and I should just buy a new one. So 80 bucks later, I have a brand new rear brake caliper. While I'm out spending money, I went and ordered a new seat to be made. The new one's a little wider, but it's built really nice. It does sit a little bit taller on the frame, so I might have to modify that later on down the line. And everything seems to line up. I also found a guy that was selling a set of mufflers for this bike. I haven't been able to find a set of titanium headers for this model yet, so if anybody out there knows where those are, shoot me a message. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have them custom made. So here's all the stuff that I've accumulated for the money pit so far. I've got some more stuff on the way, but that's for another video. Since everything in this bike gets bolted to the engine, I had to order this piece that would kind of sit in place of the engine so I could start putting the bike back together. 
going to be at least a few more weeks until I get the engine back from being rebuilt. As I'm reassembling things, I'm replacing anything that looks like it's worn out. And I'm also replacing as many bolts as I can with titanium. Some are going to be a little bit trickier to find, like these shoulder bolts, so I might have to stick with stock steel ones. I've always hated the way that the stock rear set looks on this bike, so I ordered this much smaller one. This new rear set doesn't come with any instructions, so I just guessed how it goes together, and I think I got it right. It'll replace this big, giant, heavy piece of aluminum. I don't need half of it anyways because I'm not planning on having passenger pegs. I'll just have to fabricate some sort of bracket to hold the exhaust later. Well, thanks for tuning into the Dummies Garage, and I'll see you next time.